Good morning, players. This is re damn ridiculous and a hot boo boo shitty mess. So according to reports, all of this rigmarole could have been avoided with Frump and Dump keeping classified documents in his shitter if he had just listened to his Cracker Jack Box legal team. But instead, he chose to listen to Tom Fenton, who has a degree in English. Players, please grab your tea and have a seat. Let's get into it. Now listen, we know Frumpy Dumb doesn't listen to anyone, honey. But it's just amazing to me that he chose to listen to a person that has a degree in English versus his Cracker Jack Box legal team when it's something as serious as keeping America's classified documents in his shitter. So according to a bombshell report dropped by the Washington Post, Tom Fenton was the one that was advising Frumpy Dump to not return those classified documents to the DOJ. Oh, yes, 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 honey, it's true. Frumpy Dump chose to listen to Tom Fenton and rejected his lawyer's efforts to avoid classified documents indictment. So according to sources that spoke with the Washington Post, in the fall of 2022, one of Frumpy Dump's attorneys, Chris Keis, proposed an idea for Frump and Dump to arrange a settlement with the Justice Department that included returning those classified documents, all of the classified documents. Now, this attorney is very rare, honey, because according to sources, he was paid $3 million up front to join Frump and Dump's Cracker Jack Box legal team. And baby, he was going to work hard for the money because he wanted to quietly approach the Justice Department to see if he could negotiate a settlement and also return all of the classified documents. He was hoping that Attorney General Merrick Garland and the department would want to exit, want an exit ramp to avoid prosecuting Frumpy to the motherfucking dump. But Frumpy Dump was not interested at all, honey, and unfortunately, Chris Kais never got an opportunity to approach prosecutors. According to this, Frumpy Dump repeatedly rejected the advice of his Cracker Jack Box legal team and his advisors. They were urging him to go ahead and cooperate and re return those documents, but he didn't want to do it, and he instead took the advice of Tom Fitton, who is the head of the conservative group Judicial Watch. And we know that Frumpy Dump was in contact with Tom Fenton because he would often cite Fenton to others and Fenton told some of Frumpy Dump's lawyers that Frumpy Dump could keep the documents even as they disagreed. In an interview on Wednesday, Tom Fenton uh, said that he had dinner with Frumpy Dump on Monday. That's the day before Frumpy Dump had his first uh, appearance on those document charges. He declined to disclose whether he had given Frumpy Dump that type of advice, but he did appear before the grand jury and was questioned about his role in both the uh, Roach Motel document case and also the investigation into January 6th. Now, this is ridiculous. This man isn't even a paralegal. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mo for the Black Written. For Donald Trump is a space between him and a microphone because all he does is confess and keep exposing himself to more liability. But look, this is what happens when you don't listen to the advice of qualified counsel, you don't listen to the advice of Evan Corcoran or Christopher Kyes or any of these folks, but in fact, instead, the person you're listening to is Tom Fenton who, by the way, is not a lawyer. The grand total of his education, as far as I'm aware, is a bachelor degree in English from my alma mater, George Washington University. He knows nothing of the legal intricacies. He runs Judicial Watch, but he's not legally trained. He fed uh, Donald Trump this garbage about the Clinton case from 11 years ago, completely misconstrued it, and has nicely and slowly walked this man into an indictment, and there's nothing he can do to save him now. 